fresh tomato sauce, otherwise known as a Provencal sauce. Now what I have here is fresh tomatoes. Now we've skinned, um, if, you have, if you don't know how to skin a tomato, please see the video on how to skin a tomato. Um, these are just about ready. We're just peeling off the remainder of the skin here, as you can see. Um, we're going to turn these down into basically into a Provencal sauce, which we are then going to use with several dishes that we're creating for the restaurant tonight. So I'm going to continue on here until these are actually all skinned, and when I'm ready to actually put the Provencal sauce together, I'll bring you back. Being skinned nice. and cored, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to dice these tomatoes and get them ready for our Provencal sauce. So. I'm not going to be overly fussed about removing the seeds out of these. So um, I'm just going to continue on chopping these. Now the ingredients, the base for our Provencal sauce is obviously fresh tomatoes. Uh, you can also use tinned tomatoes, um, tomato puree, onion, garlic, um, fresh parsley, salt and pepper, and sugar. So um, as I said to you, we're just about ready to go and start chopping these and bring these ready into an actual what's called a tomato concasse which is a rough chopped dice of tomato so again as you can see there's nothing too dramatic about this and um, we're moving through it relatively fast just as I said it's a rough chop because what's going to happen is, is when we're actually cooking this the, the tomato is going to break down further all right so um, when I have this done and completed, I'll bring you back. Thanks guys. We're creating our Provencal sauce. We have our diced onion, we have our pureed garlic. They're going into the pan. We want to sweat them off for a minute or two. And basically, get the heat going on that. All we want to do is just, just begin the cooking process in relation to sweating down. So you can see here that we're using a fairly intense flame. Um, the pot is fairly hot. Actually, the pot is really hot. Now, okay, this is slowing down a bit. And what I want to do now is add in the sauce. Slowing down enough that I'm going to add in our tomato concasse. This is the tomatoes that we prepared earlier. As you can see here, now they're going straight in. Now we're also going to add in a small drop of water to this um, in about five minutes time because we want, to, we want to actually cook down the tomatoes a bit further than currently what they are at the moment. So I'll bring you back when we're at the stage of adding all these tomatoes coming up to the boil here. Now what I'm doing is I'm just adding in some water. Because don't forget after all this is a sauce. So okay, I can still add in a little drop more. Now again guys, a lot of this comes with experience on knowing what you're looking for. Um, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for, first of all, to add water. Then I'm looking for the water to reduce off and cook the tomato down further into a better paste than what we currently have here at the moment. Um, when we're at that stage, I'll bring you back and show you what I'm talking about. Thanks guys. Okay guys, now you can see that we're actually up to boiling point now with the Provencal. Now what I want to do is just lower the heat down around to around about half and let that cook out for about another 10 minutes. Um, at that point then, at the 10 minute mark, I'm going to add in the tomato puree. I'm going to season the sauce and I'm also going to add in some sugar to counterbalance the bitterness of the tomatoes, the natural bitterness in the tomatoes. So when we get to that stage, I'll bring you back and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to finish off the sauce with some parsley. So when I have that ready, I'll give you a shout. Thanks guys. Okay guys, we can see now that the sauce is actually starting to render down. 
um, about one quarter of the liquid has evaporated from it now as you can see here. Now Provencal sauce is a rustic sauce, it's a, you know it's got plenty of chunk, it's got plenty of bite, it's got plenty of you know vivacity and life to it okay. Now but the one thing that it does lack at this particular moment of time, time is a nice red tomato -y colour. So this is why we're now adding in not only for flavour but also to help with colour is our tomato paste. Now you can see immediately here once we add in the paste that it's beginning to turn the sauce back to what is recognisable as an actual tomato sauce. So we just keep on adding in our paste here until we get the actual colour that we're looking for. Okay, so now we have what is a nice red tomato sauce, okay? I don't think anyone can argue with that. So um, again, as this cooks down a little bit more, the colour will become even slightly more concentrated, okay? So now the next thing that we want to do is we want to add in some sugar. Now why are we adding the sugar in? We're adding the sugar in to counterbalance, as I said, a slightly acidic bitterness that's in the tomatoes. So um, we just add in, first of all, like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a slight taste and I'll just get some spoons and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to taste. Okay guys, now we're just going to actually taste out here and um, we're going to check it for seasoning and once we check it for seasoning then we're going to add in the final touch which is the parsley. But when we have this finished off we're going to actually let it sit and relax for about another 20 minutes before we actually use it. Okay, that's excellent. Now it does require some seasoning. So, salt and pepper. Get it mixed around. Check for seasoning again. Believe it or not, that actually requires a little bit more. Okay, so just check it again. It's perfect. And the last and final ingredient is parsley. We're going to add in some chopped parsley. Finish off the sauce. And not only does it add extra flavour, but it also gives a wonderful lift in colour to the sauce as well, as you'll see when I mix this in here. Okay guys, that's it. There's Provencal sauce from start to finish. That took all of about 30 minutes to make. Nothing difficult, nothing complicated, and absolutely amazing. This can go in your pizzas, your pastas, whatever you choose, even eat it cold. And it's absolutely fantastic with fresh basil pesto. Okay guys, talk to you soon, thanks.